All right, welcome back. This is episode 101 of Christian Michael's Figure Review. In case you've forgotten, I am Christian Michael. This is actually supposed to be episode number 103. You see, since the big 100th episode where I did the WWE Mystery Minis unboxing, I actually filmed two other episodes. Uh, one was October's big old box of stuff, and the other one was another Marvel Collector Core unboxing. Um, but you're not going to be able to see them because for whatever reason, they are lost in the cloud. Technology isn't so great sometimes. This is not the first time this has happened to me where I've lost episodes that I've shot and it probably won't be the last time. But here we are. This is the official 101st episode that you will be able to view. Um, just a quick recap of what happened in the last month. Again, there was only going to be two episodes that were going to come out. Uh, big old box of stuff in October was great. Um, well above the value of what I had paid for it. There were a few items in there that I already owned, so it kind of took away some of the excitement. But had I not owned that, that was by far the best monthly subscription box I ever received. It was that good. And again, go check out big old box of stuff. As for Marvel, I'm giving them one more shot. I believe December uh, should be coming up is another uh, delivery for them. And it should be about Guardians of the Galaxy. If I like it, I'll keep it another time. If I don't like it, I'm done with them. The Avengers box was good. The Ant-Man box was good. The other two boxes, not so good. Like I said, I don't really read comics. I'm into the movies, the cinematic universe. And while the first two boxes had to do with the cinematic universe, and that's why I liked them, the last two boxes didn't. And that's why I didn't like them. So it's a catch-22. It's not something that you have to stay subscribed to for X amount of time. So maybe in the future, if something has to do with an upcoming movie, I'll get that month's box. If it doesn't, then I'll just let it pass. Because now I got all this stuff sitting here from the last two uh, Marvel Collector Core boxes that I don't want. And I got to try to sell on eBay. But... That's neither here nor there. What is here is November's big old box of stuff. Right here with the Bobo's robot. I love this guy. I'm going to try and make Christmas ornament out of him. But this is my last big old box of stuff as I only subscribed for three months. But most likely I'm going to re-up for another three months depending on what's in this box. So, drop the knife. Don't want to step on it. Let's unbox November's big old box of stuff. All right. I know this is the most exciting part, getting to see me play with a knife, but it is what it is. And I still can't even get the damn thing open. See right here, little note that they attach with all the boxes. And it says, this is the third and final box on your three-month subscription. Since Bobos does not believe in automatically recharging your credit card month after month, this completes your order, and you will not receive another box unless you subscribe again. Which is kind of cool, but kind of also not cool, because now I have to actually go and resubscribe. Would have just liked them to re up it automatically but it is kind of cool that they don't do that this way you don't get caught getting stuff that you don't really want because let's face it how many people actually remember to unsubscribe to things still paying for wwe 24 7 all right wow man i got a whole box of packaging paper i just love it Woo. first things first we got batman dc Multiverse Batman from the game Arkham Origins. And you can see the other figures in the series in the back. Black Mask, Carly Quinn, and the Joker. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool little Batman to add to the collection. And look at this bad boy, huh? The best of Rocky and complete Rocky 2. The photo book. Of the first two Rocky films. This is badass. Now in October's big old box of stuff. I got a quote book from Breaking Bad. So they're on point. 
with the books. So this is pretty cool. Rocky. Rocky 2. A photo book. There you can see him screaming after he won the title in Rocky 2. Segway. Saw Creed last week. Go see it. You're a big fan of the Rocky franchise. As you can see that I am. Go see it. You won't be disappointed. The, the funny thing about this movie Creed is that it was over two hours long and it could have easily been another hour long because there was so much stuff that they could have done more in the movie and then you were left a little disappointed that I didn't talk about this or they could have done more with that but it was really really good really fits in well with the Rocky franchise I had my trepidations about the movie coming out because I thought Balboa wrapped up the series and the character so nicely but Michael B. Jordan, Ryan Coogler, excellent job with Creed. Um, sequel, no sequel, don't know. Um, but yes, go see Creed. Anyway. Whoa, what do we have here? I just bought, this is funny. This is how big, big old box of stuff must actually monitor my credit card account here. Because... I found these, I never knew these existed. They made trading cards for Rocky 2 and Rocky 4. I never knew these existed. And then I got a couple of Rocky 2 cards in my first big old box of stuff. And now uh, I was on Etsy the other day looking for stuff from the movie Creed. You know, I got to get swag from the movie. So, and they had Rocky 4 cards. I bought two packs for $1.95 each. And now what it looks like here is that Bobo's has sent me I can get this thing open here what appears to be the entire set all 66 cards from Rocky 4 this is the Rocky 4 checklist so it'll give you an idea of the cards that are here we're not going to actually go through them all we'll just show you this is probably this makes sense that this is the last one right because this is when he wins the fight and there's another iconic scene as you can let's just raise it up a little bit here as you can see there's my rocky four poster by far my favorite uh movie poster that i own and obviously my favorite rocky one by be by far the best there's the russian bull van drago so another one, man with a mission, Rocky before the big fight, and this is the punch that kills Apollo Creed and makes Adonis an orphan. Okay, well, uh, this is this is beyond awesome. Bobo's, thank you. I mean, wow. There's Russia's mightiest man, bum. Creed versus Drago. Another cup. Just showing you another couple cards, but they sent it in this nice plastic case. The entire collection of all. The Rocky Four cards. Uh, like I said, I just found out that these were made. I bought two packs from Etsy for a dollar ninety-five each. But to get the entire collection, mind blown. I mean, really, that alone is going to earn Bobo's another three-month subscription. What else have we got in here? Whoa! We have Mini Ninja Turtles. Leonardo and Donatello, somewhere in this house, there are the other two, Michelangelo and Raphael, which I'm glad that they packed them like that, because Raph and Mike are my two favorite turtles, so that's why I bought those, but, you know, to be a completist. Also in here, we have a, the Joker magnet, love magnets from my little mini fridge. And also we have, this is a Bane pin. And the, what the hell is this? <laughs> the final thing in the box this month is a Bane mask. This thing is fucked up, man. But how do I look? It doesn't really fit my big ass head. <laughs> I guess I'll have to well, we can untie it in the back and make it a little looser this is pretty cool this is not bad I mean it's got some hair not hair uh, whatever the hell it is string but there we go 
still doesn't really fit. So you see, my eyes are here, his eyes are here, my mouth, <laughs> it's a little small. It says that it is, it's an, it says it's an adult mask. This is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it considering that it doesn't actually fit me. I mean, we're a month away from uh, Christmas. This would be a good little Halloween gag thing here, but... Oh, yes, I'm desperately trying to get this thing to fit. But anyway... Enough uh, with the Bane mask. Um, big old box of stuff. You definitely earned another three month subscription from me for these cards alone. In this book, anything that you can, anything rocky that you can surprise me on that I didn't know existed, and then you give it to me, you, you've won my heart. This is a cool little Batman get up here, and we got the turtles. I believe I got more stuff last month, but the va the values here. I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong. You like getting some sent to your house every month. You like getting cool stuff sent to your house every month. Big old box of stuff is the way to go. Even being a greedy. So this has been episode 101. I almost forgot. Because I have this mask. And it's really tight around my head. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. And be sure to rate, comment, share. And again, subscribe. And we'll see you in episode 102, if this one doesn't get lost in the cloud.